Better do a save. Because, uh, I don't think we're going to get along here. I understand you are off to summon Lethal, of all things. Do the mysterious voices of the well tell you what she, in fact, might prove to be? I don't know. I have no choice. I don't have many other options. I suggest you prepare yourself, Inquisitor. It will no doubt be most interesting. Hmm. I'd like to know more about you. If you have questions, then ask. Okay, so we did all that. Okay. I'll leave you to the garden. I thought this was gonna be a little more uh, detailed than what it was. Where's uh? Oh wait, is this new? No. That mirror is over here somewhere, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know. I do not like this thing here. This thing should be like. It should be. Facing outside or something like that. Uh, just not inside the castle. Not not our home. Okay, we talked to everybody in the little garden area. Well, let's see. Oh, we have a, a side quest. Apparently. Okay, let's head down here to uh, Cassandra. Victory in the Arbor Wilds. The Archdemon might have been a real threat to our army, but it flew off once we turned the tide. It is still out there, however. I wonder what Corypheus plans now. If he returns, we'll face him. We'll deal with whatever he throws at us. Do not underestimate Corypheus. He is powerful, and you have yet to fight him one on one. But he will come. You will get your chance. You aren't worried. You don't seem concerned about that. I am terrified. Yet I have faith in you. Not long ago, this was impossible to imagine. You, a valued friend, victory close at hand. The time has come to consider what will come next. You'll be divine? You'll be the next divine, I assume. That has not happened yet. But it may. If the Maker wills it, then yes, I will answer his call. Blessed are they who stand before the corrupt and the wicked and do not falter. You have come far, my friend. It has been an honor. Sounds like she's leaving or something. What? Why do they do that? Why do they put me way the hell up here? Really? Let's do another quick save. Hello again. About the Tranquil Cure. I want to talk to you about the cure for tranquility. It's not a cure. Not truly. Mages who were once tranquil lose all control over their emotions. They become irrational, unable to focus. Perhaps that state eventually passes and they can be helped, but it will take time to investigate. But you will, right? But you are going to look into it. That is my intent. I would not want news of a cure to spread until we know for certain we can help these people. Once we have that, however, then I will spread the word myself. Okay. That's enough for now. Another time, then. I'd like to talk it's to you about to see you. being the divine, but that's enough for now. Apparently, another she, time. She then. doesn't have anything about it. It's fine. Oh, my maker, you cannot imagine how many letters I've received about the fracar at Halam Shirel. Fortunately, you tied twice as many threads as cut, although it is yet bewildering at the center. Uh, okay. As you were. 
We are here for you, Inquisitor. That's what I'm hearing. Apparently I can make this? Okay. It's a weapon? Warrior only level 12? What? You've crafted Mark's Mangled Mace. Huh? What? Oh my god! So what does it look like? Uh, come here, Cassandra. Oh my god, it's a banana on a stick. Uh, <laughs> uh okay, black wall. Come on, load. Flaking damage bonus, guard damage bonus. On kill grants 35 stamina. It's not that bad. It's just kind of low level. And not nearly as powerful as that, but we gotta try- I gotta- I gotta see what this looks like. Consider it done. Surgeon. I wonder what it is that gives Grey Wardens their legendary skill and stamina. I should like to study one. I'd like to study one? What are you, a Nazi? Alrighty then. Let's see. We'll save before we go into the bar. Apparently there's a side mission there, or side quest. Wonder well what did there is an issue that you should address. I think it's worth your time, Inquisitor. Oh, it's another war table mission. Alright. Shame the alliance with the Chief's people didn't work out. He hasn't said anything, but he's feeling it. We already talked about all this. We'll talk later. Yep, we got something with the iron ball. You wanted to see me? Where's the audio? Audio? Oh, there it is. Oh. I got it. Iposte sala talvasov. Yeah, yeah, my soul's dust. Yours is scattered all over the ground, though. So. <laughs> Sorry, boss. I thought I might need backup. Guess I'm not even worth sending professionals for. Uh, you were expecting them? You knew the assassins were coming? Little change in the guard rotation tipped me off. Could have warned me. Why didn't you tell me ahead of time? You go through years of Ben Hasrith training to hide facial expressions when I wasn't looking. See? Like that. If I'd warned you were the guards, the assassins would have been tipped off. Okay, you have a point. Uh, how's the wound? Are you alright? Fine. Hurt myself worse than this fooling around in bed. Knife could be poisoned? What if they used poison? Oh, they definitely used poison. Sarkamek. Liquid form. If I hadn't been dosing myself with the antidote, I'd be going crazy and puking my guts up right now. As it is, it stings like shit. But that's about it. Well, I'm on Iron Bull's side, so sh what What do you want us to do, Iron Bull? Are you interested in getting some payback? Against who? The entire Ben Hasrath? Besides, this wasn't serious. Sending two guys with blades against me? That's not a hit. That's a formality. Just making it clear that I'm Talvashoth. <sighs> Talva fucking shot. Are you gonna be okay? Are you going to be alright? It's a knife wound, boss. I think I'll live. I'm fine. Oh, I didn't mean Thanks. like that. Anyway, I'll get this cleaned up and let Red know what happened. Boss, whatever I miss, whatever I regret, this is where I want to be. 
Whenever you need an ass kicked, the Iron Bull is with you. Oh, everybody's so sweet recently. How nice. Uh, let's get back here. I have to re-talk to him again and uh, Sarah, Cole. Drills upon drills. Just Familiar. handed some intelligence to the spy master. Okay. Oops. Inquisitor. Oh, now you're down here. You're the one that's always in Vivi's office. Or whatever you want to call it. So to kill Corypheus, all we have to do is kill his dragon first? That's easy. We're good at killing shit. <laughs> Just one more big fight to put this magister asshole down for good. I knew you'd get us here, boss. Uh, thanks for your help, Iron Bull. It's been an honor, Bull. Oh, don't get like that. This isn't goodbye. We're kicking this guy's ass. Okay, is that all you got, Iron Bull? Hey, that elven redhead who makes the buns in the kitchen. Is she available? Because I'm getting signals. <laughs> See you later, Bull. <laughs> Him and his redheads. Oh, he certainly has a thing for redheads. Okay, I have a feeling I'm gonna have a hard time with Sarah because everything I did in the last story mission, she greatly disapproved of, like, everything. Okay, Sarah. Oh, hi, yeah. Listen, stand there. Right there. Now, about Mithal. I knew it! Uh, I wanted to talk, put that away. Uh, what should my reaction be? Sarah, I don't know what reaction you want, but can this be it so we can be done? Alright, so maybe it's still you. Someone needed to do something. I mean, you went wading into a well of sorrows. Who hears that and thinks, well, Dunker but let's have a go. Even mad old Abelas said elves destroyed themselves. The only believable bit in a sea of clear demon bait. It makes messing with their relics real stupid. So, test done. You're still you. We can leave these lies behind. Uh, this threat was a test? How was aiming an arrow at my face a test? I heard once that if you're possessed, the demon will defend itself against attack. Sounds stupid to say it out loud. I don't know. I don't know demons. At least, if it's true, the arrow's right there. I'm sorry, yeah. Morrigan's probably got better ways, but who can trust her? You think Mithril was all lies? Um, this was about demon worship. What do you mean? Uh, so you think Mithal was all lies? You seem pretty certain. You don't believe anything from Mithal. Of course not. What, I should believe all that stuff? Because elves. I mean, it was impressive and all. Makes the Dalish look like tits for living in the woods, but so what? <laughs> there can't be a bunch of gods. And the Maker. Don't matter how much or little you believe, those don't fit. So call me stupid, but I believe the stuff not made up by dead people who failed. Mithal is a ruin full of demons. I mean, it just makes sense, right? What does she want to hear is my question. Uh, but what if... Even some of it is true. I believe it was all true. If I say this, will she get approval again? Because that's what she's saying. She's saying everything was a lie. I'm with you. Yes. Everything in Perfect. the temple was highly suspect. Of course it was. You can't be herald and think otherwise, yeah? I mean, that would just be daft. So. Main takeaway, we got really weird power and we can throw it at Kariffy whatever. Fighting shite with shite. It's like poetry or something, I don't know. Get a bard on that. We should go slap hands in the tavern. Okay, Sarah is always a wild card, holy crap. Um, high in range, mint, and... 
SK Rocks. Not just exactly trying to say your name, sorry. Do a quick save again. We'll see if she has anything else to say. Was good pay for you, Inquisitor. Time to go see if my friends came through too. Got a location for a stash. Hopefully something nice for my trouble. Well, your trouble. Just let me know when you're ready to head out. Be sure to bring your empty pockets. Who is paying us? Who's putting up the reward for this? Don't know. Sometimes it's past the hat. Sometimes it's I lifted this from Master's vault. Doesn't matter, does it? Job done. Time to get what we're owed. Um. Okay. I'm ready if you. I I'm glad I saved right before oh, this. Yeah. My favorite part. This. Let's go see what friends can get us. Okay, Sarah has to come. Blackwall. Uh, where's Vivi? No, Vivi. Shit. Remove all. <laughs> uh, Blackwall and Vivi. There we go. Goodbye, arrangement. You don't need to be asking that stuff. Wait, this is weird. What? I was expecting a village or something. The people that leave me stuff don't trek out to places like this. Give me a city and I'll give you a tour, but surprise, surprise, I don't know stupid woods or ruins. What's that? Don't hurt me. Harmond made me do it. Um, calm down, I can help. Quiet yourself. We're here to help. Help? Had enough help. I complain about a fight and suddenly I'm an agent or something. You were the one with the rumor out of Vachelle. My friend. You're her. You're the one he's waiting for. It's her. She's here. Red Jenny. Oh. What's going on? What the heck? These all enemies? Mercenaries. All right. Tragic misunderstanding. Let's all sheathe our swords, you walk out, and we'll conduct this life. And who are you? I believe this piss bag. He started it. Uh, I better save this. Noble. There. That wasn't so hard, was it? We identified the confusion, and we worked past it. I'm Lord Pell Harmon. I do hope, Inquisitor, that you continue to respond to reason. After all, your choice of company is hardly virtuous. Freaking user you are. Another noble prick who punches down. We're the same, you and I. Well, that is overstating it. You are nothing like me. But we both need people. That's my ally you attacked. You want to talk now, but Sarah is my ally. You attacked her friends. Come now. You know how much her meddling cost me? Because apparently you were complicit. Honestly, previous to this very moment, I thought you'd also been tricked by these red jennies. You're of noble birth. And as Inquisitor, you are more than a peer. I attacked them on behalf of us both. Ask Biscuit. <sighs> Agreed. Quiet. Inquisitor, Herald, I don't want to be your enemy. I'm barely invested in being hers. If you are willing to recognize an opportunity, we could be exceptional partners. Just kill him. What do you expect in return? Nothing is free. 
What do you expect from the Inquisition? Access, Inquisitor. Your diplomat is wisely selected. Josie has better taste than him, yeah? Lady Montelier knows a wise acquisition. Or perhaps can be made to see one. Stop talking to him. Really, just stop it. Um, give me a minute here, uh, Sarah. What can you commit to us? What would you be willing to commit to the Inquisition? Why even ask? Because a leader needs such information to make informed decisions. My family has ties across Lower Ferelden. Our presence in Orle is recent, which is why I resorted to subterfuge. We have militia elsewhere, and they can be made expendable for your purposes. Tell the snot splash no already. Not saying again. What's she gonna do if I don't? If I keep asking questions, um, I'm scared to ask another question now because I don't know what she's gonna do. Um, I can make him serve the Inquisition. Yeah, go on then. A partnership gets me your enemies. I need the territory. What are you doing? He's half the mess in Vachelle. And now his job is recruiting the other. Consider your lands and title requisitioned. Oh, you nice. The bargaining. Think of your immediate options. Surprising. Disappointing, but also welcome over the alternative. <laughs> Won't be hearing from you again. Be sure to return the favor. Nope. <laughs> Okay. Whatever that was about, I'm not quite certain. But Sarah seemed to like it, so that's fine. I need I needed to get her points up because she she disapproved on quite a bit of stuff on the last mission. Story mission. It seems like this uh part right now is all about Sarah for some reason. She has all kinds of stuff to say and go around and wow. There's you. How is that Harmond mess, hey? I should be angry you let him live. But his kind really hate a leash. I mean, he deserved worse for turning it all bad. But we made out just fine. Good one, you. Unpredictable, but worth it. Risky, but keep it within the Inquisition and I'll support you. Even though this puckered around us? Even so. Well, good then. Right, what do you mean? Because I am really not used to that acceptance thing you're doing right there. It's simple, I like you. Um, I want us to be friends. We'll have some differences, but I want to be one of your friends. You're pretty big to be one of my contacts. Important, I mean, not fat. But all right, Inquisitor. You're on my good side. We'll see if it lasts. Uh oh. <laughs> Another Red Jenny operation available. Oh. Do another save. Love seeing you, yeah? Don't fit. Uh. The group's still active. Is your network of contact? Still active after what happened. After Lord Arsol and Vichelle. Of course. <laughs> Lord Arsol. That just means there's more who hate him. You should be one of them. But maybe not. So watch out for that. Did your pr Oh, yeah, your pranks. Did your pranks achieve much? We annoyed some nobles. Does that really help all that much? We'd have helped more if you hadn't been so chummy. I don't get what's so hard to understand. Your stuff works the same. Your Inquisition, I mean. Punch a bully, people like you. Do it because they asked, or let them think they asked. They like it even more. It's inspiring, even if it sometimes goes tits up and they take a hit back. You know, like Haven. I'm Harold, you're a thief. That's actually a fair point. Um, how are you still alive? <laughs> So, you think that what you do is just as inspiring as what I do? I said it works the same. Because if you're boot on your neck poor, nobles and couriers don't look much different. 
They sure as piss look closer to each other than they do to real people. So yes, I inspire. Little pockets of inspire... Asian. <laughs> How are you still alive? It must have gone wrong before. How many times have you almost died? What fight were you in? We didn't almost die. Besides, I only have to start these punch-ups. You would have killed Harmond if I'd let you. Sure, sometimes I plonk one. But you know what it takes to be a noble? Everyone says, he's a noble. That's all a title is. So I slap someone, make them look stupid for just a second. All of a sudden, he doesn't look so nobly or scary. Maybe the servants rebel, whatever. But know what really gets them? Other nobles. They blame the slappy for being slapped. They're shits like that. So it's backwards inspiration, sort of. Still works like yours does. Okay, I'm just gonna agree with her. I get it, kind of. We just don't think of what you do as that kind of inspiration. Well, we should take a good hard look at where our people come from. All the same people. At least my baddies are understandable. No kicking in the sky there. We'll talk another time. It's all good, innit? Sure. Oh, another hey cutscene. You. you have time? It's not a question. Let's go. I've got something I want to do for you. Just come. You won't need your gear and stuff. Okay. Sarah, explain. Ah, oh, just come on, will you? I haven't wanted to do this with anyone for a long time. We're eating on a roof. They're horrible, right? And raisins. Ugh. I freaking still hate cookies. You hate cookies. They're fine, but this is odd. Why are we eating cookies? Why am I sitting on a roof eating awful baked goods? I got caught stealing when I was little, yeah? You get alienage or worse for that, but the Lady Emerald took me in. She was sick and couldn't have children. I had no parents. It worked out. Anyway, she gets a year sicker, so I ask her about cookies. Because mums make cookies. I can pass that down or something. Turns out, she couldn't cook. She missed that talk with her mum. The one she made, she bought and pretended. Ah, oh, right. Well, no, she was a bitch. Oh. She hid buying them by keeping me away from the baker. She did that by lying that he didn't like me, didn't like elves. She let me hate so she could protect her pride. I hated him so much and I hated... Well, she died. And I hate pride. Pride cookies. But this Inquisition thing is working out. So I figured I could make some Inquisition cookies. Because then I could like them again. Oh, that's stupid. Um. Maud was nice. Why hate her? I don't understand. This Lady Emerald was just trying to be good to you. She hurt people. It was just cookies. It was not just cookies! Lie to herself, fair play, only hurts her. But she made me think there was something wrong with me. And the baker? I made his life shit. Why not? It seemed like he deserved it. I mean, if you don't give a child a cookie because of appearances, you're a monster. Stupid pride horn noble. I know, I said it was stupid. That's why I want to get rid of it. I want to make better cookies. I think it's a great idea. You know what? That would be great. See, I knew. Wait, really? Because it seemed friggin' daft every step to me. Suppose it's not really about them. I hate learning lessons. Makes my stomach hurt. Anyway, I'll throw this rubbish away. Next time will be better, yeah? I look forward to it. Sarah? Make some chocolate chip. Anytime. Cho Can we get off the roof now? Chocolate chip cookies. Oh, yes, please. Smells like bird and dank. This part, not a good idea. Thanks, yeah. Feels good, this. Okay, now I think we're pretty much friends with everybody in our circle. It's awesome. Wow. That's, uh, she had quite the list there going on. I saw him just walking free. True enough. That was a decision, and it oh. was well considered. After what 
One more save. Are you done now, Sarah? Oh, wait, you got up? more. Special. Okay, what's a special? Oh, so you can do some more roof time with Sarah. Roof time with Sarah. <laughs> um, carry on. I'll be back if I need you. Go on. <laughs> Go on. Well, we finally got Sarah down. Now, uh, we have Cole to deal with. <laughs>